Now this is part two. This is uh, the fiddle that I uh, put that little transducer on and it was okay. Worked pretty good. And then I had this fiddle. If you remember that one with the guitar tuners. Uh, I had a transducer under here. It was a Fishman. And it was weak and everything and then I decided well I'm going to take it apart and find out what's wrong. And I found out the only thing was really wrong was this was not under there properly. I shoved it back under properly and it came back to life. But like everything else I decided well now I'm going to put an electric guitar pickup on here. And what I would do was I would keep this as a secondary. I have a little pouch here. There's another transducer if I ever need it. But these old guitars from the 60s, these little cheap guitars had uh, uh, pickups. I tried other pickups and I uh, wasn't happy with them. They didn't fit. Uh, the bass pickups. But this one, which was an extra one, you see the where you just plug it in. It was my emergency pickup. I could tape it to a guitar. I'm going to hook it up on there and I'm going to show you how that sounds. Well, I, I put it all together. Here is my electric guitar pickup. The wire goes down and it's got to come out of here and it goes into my pod. And here's the ground over there. And I ground it also to this wire which is going to go around the strings. And then this is the part that goes out and it's the part that comes in from the pickup and there's the volume pot operation right there from the pickup and then right here it goes out and then this is the ground and I put the ground I also solder the ground onto it here and then from there it goes to my output and I'm going to test my volume pod hear it before you set it up give it a test so then I got aluminum duct tape right here and I put my aluminum duct tape around the whole thing and that is what's going to shield it. That's what's going to keep all that interference from getting in there and causing the instrument to buzz and hum. So now we got everything shielded and we, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's ready to be put into the instrument. And you notice how the hum stopped when I shielded everything. So I put my uh, guitar pickup in, went over into my volume control, and then it came over here into my output. Now this is the output for my fish pin, my transducer, and this is the output for my electric guitar. Out. Uh, I didn't want to combine them together, and then that fish pin that got out of there, I put a piece of rubber in the thing and jammed it in there. So now I got two different pickups and I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, so uh, now you can hear it. It's humming a little bit. But I'm close to the amplifier, but... Now I put it into the Fishman pickup. So what's the difference? When you use a transducer, that picks everything up on the instrument and when you use the guitar pickup it, it won't. Uh, that's the only thing I see different but uh, the way I play, I want to explain my amp just so you know. I always play out of a Fender Twin and I play my guitar out of this channel and I come over here and I play my banjo and my fiddle out of this channel and I have my marks here because we do a lot of like concerts and festivals and everything where there's two or three or four bands and I want to come in, set my amp up, and just plug in. I don't want to be putting pedals and anything that's going to interfere. I want a fast, clean setup and everything. And the sound man just puts his microphone right against here, and he can adjust it from, uh, from where he's at. So that's the way I think, and that's why I do things the way I do.